morning. Right, we are back on the extension we're building for free for my parents. So far this morning, we have just had a mad load out. 660 bricks, maybe a few more actually, more like 750. All loaded out. We have gauged up our profiles to, that's actually this side, but don't worry about it. Gauged up the profiles to marry into the house. And I've also thrown up a few profiles here I'm not going to build a corner here today because it's only two and a half bricks. But I saw this little trick from Steve and Alex. So all you do is just put a line and a nail up against your brickwork with this profile there. So yeah, lots of time lapses today because we are not messing about, are we, Drew? No. <laughs> we are no, going okay. for it. So um, yeah, we're going to dish out loads of compo and then we're going to crack on. Me and Drew have just bedded all of our trays on and I definitely didn't just cut the line with a standing knife and have to reset everything out. Um, so right now we are going to absolutely blast, see how quick we can get this up. But we're still going to maintain some quality because it's my parents' house. <laughs> right, let's go for it. <laughs> Right, me and Drew have just had a feast, courtesy of my mother, uh, which was really nice. So the job's going pretty good. We've got 350 bricks down in about two hours. Not super fast, but it's because I'm having to do like the returns and everything. So I'm pulling everything up in one go. One slight issue, now it's not an issue, but it is an issue for me personally. So follow me, Drew, baby. When I set this extension out, these are the engineering bricks I had. I always talk about running my brickwork out dry. I did it on this job. It seemed to work lovely. These are the original bricks. We had a brick match and everything was rosy. When I did the footings though, I didn't actually have these new bricks, okay? These have only just turned up. So they've been on order for about six weeks. They've only just turned up. Now, when I set out this extension, these are the engineering bricks I had. As you can see, these bricks are bigger yeah you see that i'm perfectly flush this side brother slightly bigger that side yeah right. so my initial thinking was if i have slightly bigger joints down there with these i'll make up for it because these bricks uh, should be bigger however they are not they're actually smaller um which is always hard especially when you're setting out so they're not much smaller than the engineering the issue I'm having, I don't know if you can see, can you see how they're slightly chamfered? Yeah, you see yeah. that little chamfer? Yeah. So they've got two chamfers. So even if I was to have them dead tight together, I would still end up with a five mil perp just because of that chamfer. Okay? Right, okay. Joints down here were already slightly big. You're talking 12 to 13 mil. I thought that's perfect. I'll be able to get over that because I'm going to have bigger bricks. However, these bricks have turned up with their chamfers and it's meant me having, come close, uh, it's meant me having what appears to be really big joints. So if you look on the top here, there we go, there's our joints. So they're not too big, okay? 13 mil, 13 mil, about 13 mil. However, if you actually look at the joint itself, they look big. Um, so personally, it's just like a bit of a nightmare for me. Um, do my best to keep plump perp. People go call me out saying I should have set my fussing out different, but at the time I didn't have the, these bricks to go with, and it meant if I had tight joints here, it meant having a trimmer up the door reveal. Uh, it just didn't work. So yes, 
Slight problem, but solutions no problems. It's just one of them. Luckily, it's facing the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie, my parents, aren't even going to live in this house for more than two years. So, every clan. Right, let's get blasted. Yes, yes, we have pretty much got the brickwork up to scaffold height on the on this side and that side there. We just swapped what we were doing and just decided to build some big ass corners just so tomorrow we can blast this in fully now. Whip um, a two brick pillar up there and there and then that will be it, Rave Scaffold. Didn't do much recording today because we were just flat out where we do. Mm -hmm. like, we had no chill today apart from that little lunch a little uh, yeah so tomorrow there'll be a bit more real-time footage right we'll catch you tomorrow sunday <laughs> <laughs> morning um today we are blasting this panel up to scaffold height which i'll be organizing pretty soon we're also gonna blast up the pillar there and a pillar there i've already set up my starter pack that side I'm gonna go set up a starter pack on the other side in a little while and talk about why we use starter packs. I'm also gonna cut in all of my vertical damps. Um, those who are bricklayers understand why we need a vertical damp, but uh, for those people who don't know, I'll talk about it in a little bit. But for now, me and Drew are gonna do some blasting and get this up rapid style. What are you saying, Drew? Yeah, man. Let's do it, boy. Last one. Six. I hope I never lose this feeling. I hope it never goes away. And when I'm dancing on the ceiling, you know you're killing my pain. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's Instagram famous. I didn't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sighs> yeah, man. We go. We have built this gable up to scaffold. Yes. I'll point this up, tie it up down here, and then we're gonna hop over and do some brickwork over there. Yes. Yes, yes, so we have finished this wall up to scaffold high, pointed everything up nicely. Just gonna tidy up down here. Uh, for saying the joint's pretty big, it's probably one of the nicest walls I've actually built. It is flat, the from Perth is brilliant. It's a very nice wall, so I'm chuffed with it. Follow me, Drew, and this is what we're gonna be doing next. A little um, one, two, about a two and a half brick pillar here, what we're gonna be doing. So in a second, I'm gonna throw up a starter pack, I'm gonna cut in my vertical damp, and I'll explain exactly why we do it, and I'll give like a little example, just to prove how well the vertical, vertical damp works. So brickwork to go up there, brickwork to go up there, and then, That'll probably be the day because you're knackered, aren't you? Yeah, just a bit. You're out clubbing. Oh my out god! Clubbing. So I, I sound I, like an old boy. Literally three days straight. I've had about six hours until of sleep. Yeah, and I'm just knackered because I've been slashing bricks all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. right. You still there? Still there? I explained to you what it is. Um, 
my mum's just asked what this is. So I'll explain. For those who don't know, it's a starter pack, Julie. Um, it's basically a mechanical tie from my extension to your ass. So what we do, we put these, these slide into these channels, what I've already bolted to the wall. They go every one, two, three bricks, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that ties my extension strongly to your uh, existing house. So sometimes we two thin, which means like, we'll cut a brick out, cut a brick out, cut a brick out, and then slot the brick in. But because we're not doing that on this occasion, we're using these. So it just ties everything together strong. Oh, yeah, pretty good, ain't it? No worries. <laughs> <laughs> just rest on there. Uh... Oh, that is so much quicker as well, one of these. <laughs> There we go, and it's centre of the brickwork. You see, you see how it's centre of the brickwork there. So there's my brickwork. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty central. If it's like, <laughs> if it's too far forward, you'll either see it. If it's too far back, you won't have a good tie. So you really want it ideally centre of your brickwork, and then it's got the best grip and contact. Right. Okay. So yeah, starter packs sorted. So we are just about to cut in the vertical damp, which is basically a break in the brickwork. What we do, we use a still saw and we cut a line centre of the cavity all the way up where the existing house and the extension meet. And what this does, it stops any water, let's say it's raining really heavy, okay, hitting this wall. If I don't have a break here, water can easily penetrate through here, through there, and then it's in your block work. Now, I've just done this as a little example. I've got this block here and I saturated this brick. Okay, there we go. That's just been sat next to that brick like that. And you can already see that it's damp, okay? So that is an example of why we need wasp. Um, this break in the cavity here, because like I say, if this gets wet, it can easily penetrate into your block work and then you've got a damp spot. Okay, so that's why we do it. A lot of people say it damages the integrity of the house and it's structurally no good, but building inspectors like to see it and it's important. So, quick still saw job and then we'll be blasting up this brickwork. All right, there we go. We have just closed in our tray done the cut and we are now good to blast we're gonna get this pillar in gonna do the nail setup so I'm gonna pin a nail behind this profile here and Yeah. Yeah, baby. What was the level saying? Sam. Absolutely buzzing. Mint. I proper rate that profile setup. Yes, Steve and Alex. Nice one. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yo. Yo! That is impressive, man. You're saying I've not even used the level. Shall I just check it? Right. You're saying? It's flat. Yo. It's flat and plumb. It's flat and plumb. That is what we like. You're saying this way? Plum. It's plum. It's plum. That is, man. That's fucking well good. That is an amazing profile setup. I love that. 
Look at those joints. Nice equal joints. That's what we like, Drew. We don't yeah, like man. tight yeah. joints, big joints. All equal. That is what we do. Right, we'll point this up. And then we're going to wrap up because, because it's Sunday. Yes. Right, we've just wrapped up for the day, or for the weekend, should I say. We got this pillar up using that little profile meso method. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, two seconds. <laughs> right, we have. Right, we've pretty much just wrapped up for the day. For the weekend, we ended up getting this pillar up to a pretty decent height. We cut in our vertical stamp. We also got in all of this brickwork here, a big old panel. I think in total we laid about 900 or so bricks. So pretty busy weekend. Follow me, Drew. So all we need to do now is build a small two brick pillar here at some point. Wham the block work up to wall plate height, find the wall plate, and then we're going to be dobbing the trusses on, having the scaffold go up. We've got an extra six courses to go, and then it's the gables. I'm saying another four working days, and we should have this job totally wrapped up. Anyway, on that note, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, all that shit, uh, because I upload daily on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm, I'm knackered. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, because I upload daily there, and I'll catch you in the next one. Sand. <laughs>